Ice Cold Detonations. You may have low mobility, but the ability to become a close range lethal tank is second to none. Your objective with this build is to create and destroy as many stasis crystals as possible, while absolutely punishing anything or anyone who gets close. If you're looking to deal crazy damage, shut down champions in PvE, or to almost completely shut down shotgun rushers in PvP, this build is for you. Tectonic Harvest is up first. This allows you to get small sums of melee energy back every time you break one of your stasis crystals. Remember, you have to break your stasis crystals yourself. If anyone else does so for you, you do not get the melee energy back. The next thing you equip is Howl of the Storm. Unfortunately, you don't get Glacial Chasm. However, you're trading your mobility for the ability to constantly use your melee, which is very important for this build. As for Fragments, equipping Whisper of Shards is a near requirement. What this does is boost your grenade recharge rate after breaking a stasis crystal. Due to the sum of crystals being created and destroyed, this fragment should almost always be active, allowing for quick and constant cooldowns on your grenades. Next up is Whisper of Fissures. As you have a large sum of crystals being destroyed everywhere, it's a good idea to increase the damage and AoE of those detonations. In PvE, its range is actually quite silly. It also has a funny interaction when detonating a large sum of crystals at the same time, which can send enemies flying if they survive the initial explosion. However, this does not work on champions. Lastly is Whisper of Hunger, which allows you to get more melee energy back for consuming a stasis crystal. This effectively puts your melee on a cooldown that is 75%-ish of the original cooldown, as using this with Tectonic Harvest and Howl of the Storm makes enough crystals to give back almost your entire melee, as long as you slide before using it. Also, fun thing, your grenade makes exactly enough crystals with this equipped to give you your entire melee back, so if you want to trade your grenade for your melee, you're free to do so, depending on how the situation goes. The final slot is a flex, meaning you can put whatever you wish to place there depending on what you're going for. This can be anything you need it to be, so feel free to experiment. In the background clip, I'm running a Master of Lost Sector, which has attrition on. This disables health regen normally, however utilizing Whisper of Rhyme, I'm capable of regenerating my HP by myself, so choose whatever fits the situation best. At the same time, however, you can add in Whisper of Conduction, which causes nearby stasis shards to track and home in on your position, while also granting 10 intellect and resistance. Alrighty, so time for the optional stuff. This build will work without these mods, however they will enhance the build, allowing the obtaining of multiple buffs at once through welts. Firstly, adding Elemental Ordnance. This will allow for the gaining of Elemental Stasis Wells for gaining ability energy for getting a kill with your grenade. Given how many grenades you're going to be throwing out, this will grant a decent sum of energy across all your abilities. On top of that, this second mod, Font of Wisdom, will allow you to get free super energy recharge once picking up an elemental well. This will last for 30 seconds total, and if you're constantly getting kills with your Glacial Nade, this will give you constant super regeneration rate. Next up is Explosive Wellmaker, which creates solar wells specifically through explosive damage. Luckily, most of your damage is explosive in the form of detonating stasis crystals and using Howling Storm melees. This couples with Well of Life, which boosts your HP regen after picking up a solar well. These two buffs are easily sustained and grant you extra stats for just playing with the build. Finally, the exotic that is a requirement for this build is Heart of Inmost Light. What this does is make your abilities deal more damage after using one, however it only applies to the other abilities that were not used i.e. if you hit an enemy with a melee, your grenade will deal more damage while your barricade will have more HP. If you cast your barricade, your melee and grenade deal more damage. On top of that, it also makes the other abilities that are not being used empowered, which means that they come off of cooldown much faster while dealing more damage and having more HP. This stacks with other ability gaining aspects and fragments from stasis. Alrighty, your playstyle is to identify a spot, and now that spot is your best friend. Throw down a barricade to proc empowerment, and then peek out from behind your shield to throw grenades or use Howl of the Storm. Preferably Howl of the Storm, as the stasis crystals being picked up go to waste if your melee is not on cooldown. Next up, start breaking crystals to proc Tectonic Harvest, which allows you to get your melee and grenade back faster. That's all there is to the build. Just break crystals after placing down your barricade, and you should almost constantly have your abilities. A couple tips for this regarding the build. Stasis crystals that grow into the, your barricade from your grenade instantly explode. This allows you to detonate large sum of crystals at once without having to use Glacial Chasm, which you do not have. 
On top of that, if an enemy is placed just right, placing a barricade on your stasis grenade can launch enemies off the map. This doesn't work on champions, so be wary of that. Howl of the Storm also does not go through your barricade as well, so don't try it, otherwise your enemy may get the last word. The main weakness of this build is that it is very close ranged. People most of the time see glacial grenades incoming and won't be frozen up by it. Howl of the Storm on the other side is also very close range, which is where shotguns are good. However, if they're pushing through your crystals, you can shoot the crystals to kill them. Or at least if they get past that, throw a glacial nade on top of your barricade to kill them. As the crystals grow into it, they will explode. You can even panic Howl of the Storm, as most pure shotgun apes cannot kill you in one hit, allowing you to get an easy follow-up. However, if somebody's rushing you with a shotgun, placing a glacial nade at your feet to block them and their initial shotgun blast off, and then breaking it with a barricade almost always works, as they either become frozen by it or have to go around. And that's it! If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day, and I hope you have fun with the build. Also, I didn't actually finish this Lost Sector because, oh my gosh, screw the com combination of Barricade Champions and Overload Champions. It's impossible to get through. I don't know how most people even get through this one Lost Sector. Screw it. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up the rest of the video by showing this uh, footage of me doing a, um, a heroic public event. Because, oh yeah, I'm... Hmm. And on top of that, I think it'll show off the build a bit better than hiding in a corner and just kind of popping stasis crystals to get my HP back for most of the fight. <laughs> anyway, have fun, so hopefully you'll see you next video. Cheers.